What's up guys? Back today with this amazing RC car. This is not the one you just saw on my channel, the unboxing I did of the XSA version, <clears throat> the pre-built version. This is actually a legit from the 80s uh, Tamiya Hornet, Tamiya Hornet. Um, I actually bought this one on eBay for like 120 bucks. Um, everything's original except for the body. It does have the uh, re-release body on there. Wheels, tires, everything else is original. Um, just as I remember it from when I was a kid. My absolute favorite RC as a kid, well, this and the RC10. Um, I put a lot of time into this car right here when I was a kid. A lot, a lot, lots and lots of hours. Uh, running this thing up and down the road and just everywhere. I had so much fun with it and I had to get another Original from the 80s. I had to do it uh, Still like I said if you watched my previous video of the unboxing, I do still have my original uh, Hornet all I have left is like the chassis uh, I would have to rebuild from there to get it get it up and running again, which I might do but in the meantime this thing's uh this thing's ready to rip i i got about probably five packs through it since i got it and it runs great it runs just just like i remember from when i was a kid the sound the the bumpy suspension the the 540s uh motor in there it's just it's amazing so yeah this one did come with uh all the um the old electronics the uh, mechanical speed controller and everything um it came with a mechanical speed controller. I mean, there's the throttle servo still in there. I left it in there. Um, it came with an FM radio or AM radio, I think it was. Uh, but I, I was gonna I was gonna leave it original and try to run it that way. But man, it had so much interference with them old those old uh, transmitters must uh, pick up a lot of signals these days, and it just it was horrible. So I ended up pulling that out. I took out the mechanical speed controller and put the brushed. Uh, ESC in and I also put a 2.4 gigahertz uh, radio system in there. It's just a little hobby king one. Um, so yeah, it's running great. I just left that, that throttle servo in there just for looks and I also left my heat, the old classic heat sink on there for looks as well. But it's running great. Amazing. So I thought I'd get a run for you uh, and see how it goes. Let's get to it guys. Here we go, guys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. It runs exactly as I remember when I was a kid. Exactly. Need a little more traction on them wheels. They're pretty bald. <laughs> it's so cool, man. It's just so freaking cool. I guess I could try to hit that jump. It might not go too well, but we can try. The Hornet! 1984, I believe this was released. Look at that! Didn't jump too bad, did it? That sucker didn't jump too bad for a old Tamaya car. Just one more jump. Oh, a little crooked. Let's do some donuts. <laughs> what a classic. Look at that. That's pretty impressive. I just got done running my vintage RC10 and wow, what a, di what a difference in performance. And they both came out the same year, pretty much. Uh, the RC10 is just amazing. But this, this is my childhood, man. This car right here. 
it runs great. It's running great on that uh, stock 27 turn motor. Oh, we landed a little on the front bumper that time. Let's fix this. There we go. Yeah, this runs pretty darn good for an actual vintage uh, Hornet. This isn't the re-release, this is vintage, except for the body. And I'm pretty impressed with that 27 turn motor. I don't remember it being that fast when I was a kid, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Look at that. <laughs> oh my gosh, such a freaking blast from the past. Oh, went behind me. Look at this. Look at this. Man, this thing's awesome. It's running just beautiful. Love it. It's so fun. Even though the handling and the suspension's terrible, it's just, it's something about these 80s RCs that were just so fun. These Tamiya cars were so popular in the 80s. So popular. And don't worry, I got more vintage cars coming to the channel soon. I'm on a vintage kick here lately, guys. I don't want to jump it too much because I don't want to break it. But it jumped pretty good, didn't it? <laughs> that little uh, RS540S motor is pretty is pretty sweet what was the company M mibuchi or something mibuchi something like that correct me if i'm wrong in the comments mibuchi or mitsubuchi or i can't remember uh os the rs was it the rs 540s yeah those motors were tough as nails too i don't think I think I ran mine when well, I did upgrade to a like Reedy Modified eventually for on-road driving with this Hornet, but it was so fun. It's a 3000 milliamp hour nickel metal hydride. I forgot to mention that. that back in the day, we were running like 1400, 1800 uh, NICAD batteries which you had to discharge completely or they would develop a memory. So when you were done running, you just kind of always just held my throttle in and drained it out completely till there was no juice left. Or you could use one of those decharger, uh, Dean's decharger uh, light bulb units, which I still have mine uh, to de discharge it. Or you could actually just, I've seen people hooking them up to like their, the motor, having a motor rigged up for discharge they would just sit it on the bench and have the motor mounted to like a block of wood or something there's all kinds of cool little tricks and techniques back in the day for these classics all right we'll do jump it one more time before we're done because it's about out of juice there it is all right, guys. Tell me that thing ain't amazing. How amazing is this RC? That's a piece of history right there. It's a piece of my childhood. It's just, a, it's, it's, it's amazing. It's amazing. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed that run of my vintage Hornet. And until next time, the RC Element out.